weather. We spent 46 straight hours between 45 and 50 degrees. That was until this morning when the sun finally started to break through the clouds and we made it to 64 on this Saturday afternoon in Alabaster. Tonight, a partly cloudy sky. Temperature's not all that cold, but it will be a little cool to mild, depending on your taste. Uh, about 53 before midnight, holding in the low to mid 50s early tomorrow morning. A little patchy fog could develop with a spotty shower here and there. And then tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, warm, but some isolated showers will develop here and there. Uh, here's a view over North Shelby County right now, and you got 63 in Chelsea, 64 in Alabaster, 65 Pelham, 68 at Helena. Into Jefferson County, there's 67 in Birmingham, 63 in Pell City, 64 in Tuscaloosa. A lot of mid 60s on the board this afternoon, so it's felt pretty nice compared to the chill the last couple of days. But there's more cloudiness starting to come in from the west, and that's not really going to hamper the temperature warm up that much tomorrow. But what it will do is help to at least bring us a few little spotty showers here and there. Uh, Six o'clock uh, this evening, we're looking at temperatures that are holding in the 60s with a limited chance of some isolated showers. Tomorrow, here's what the forecast looks like going into Sunday. 62 already by 9 a.m., about a 10% chance of a shower here and there. Uh, by noon, we're at 69, low 70s at 3 p.m. And even though you've got that 30% to 40% chance of a shower here and there, I think you're going to see some sun in between the clouds, just as like you see here in the imagery. Those clouds may get a little bit thicker tomorrow night into Monday morning, and rain does become more likely going into next week. So again, here's the top down view over Alabama this afternoon. This uh, active jet stream pattern, see how high clouds are coming over Mexico into Texas. This is the main reason that March is often a very stormy month around here, and it's about to kick into high gear. Rain picks up some on Sunday. We get a little bit on Monday, sort of medium impact from rain on Tuesday, and then it may thin out again on Wednesday. Tuesday happens to be Super Tuesday, primary day. Some spotty light showers here and there in the morning. Rainy periods throughout the afternoon, so I think if you're looking to go vote, the earlier you do it, the better. 7, 8, 9 a.m. The later into the day you go, the more likely it is that you're going to run into some rain, especially south of Birmingham, closer to Montgomery, Demopolis, Selma, even into Chilton County, Coosa County, Tallapoosa County, rain much more likely in that part of the state than we have even from Birmingham North up toward Jasper and Coleman. So polls opening at 7 on Tuesday, not a lot of problems here. Rain becoming more widespread into the afternoon and then beginning to shift on toward the east by Tuesday evening. Beyond that, there's a lot more rain on the way. 75 Wednesday, some showers are still possible Wednesday morning. Thursday may be mostly dry, and that should be the warmest day of the week. Friday brings in another chance of rain and storms, and we'll call that an impact day because of persistent rainfall, some locally heavy storms, two to four inches of rain certainly could lead to some flash flooding issues toward the end of next week, and then it turns drier and cooler going into Saturday.